Hello gorgeous souls, it's Mary from PsychicSoulmateReading.com. In this video, I am going to be doing an unboxing of the Saints and Mystics reading cards. I'm so excited to get these. I had these on pre-order and I finally got them and I was actually amazed and surprised that they were such huge, large cards. I don't know how large they are because I didn't open them yet, so I don't know what's in the box yet. So I just wanted to show you and share them with you before I did. Okay, so I have my scissors here and I'm just not going to waste any time to, to open them. Okay, so it's a good box, like all uh, Rockpool, their, their cards. And um, as you can see on the back, um, there's some... I, I just saw a few of these cards and I, I just said, oh, I have to have them. On the back it says, the beautifully illustrated 36 card deck brings to life the stories and mystical knowledge of some of history's most fascinating spiritual and mystical figures. From Nostradamus, Marie Laveau, to St. Jude, Isaac Newton, and St. Sebastian, each card unlocks key facts about these inspiring men and women, along with psychic tips to connect to their great wisdom and eternal spirits. Sounds amazing. Oh, I love that. I love when they have this little flap here. You see this? It's like, it's not one of those pulk open cards uh, boxes. It's just a like a little magnetic strip. And let's see. Oh, here is the guidebook. The guidebook is pretty, it's pretty chunky. As you can see, what colored pages. Not that it really matters. I mean, it's just a guidebook, right? But um, I just love colors. Like, that's why I collect cards, because I love... Um, colors and art okay so your guidebook has uh, let's see it's all shiny pages good paper 87 pages and it has like two pages per card as you can see it has um, maybe a couple of spreads single card spread Saints reading spread mystics reading spread introduction it explains well cool oh download your free rock pool oracle reading card app okay and here are the cards well they're not as big as i thought of <laughs> i got all excited they're still a good size this is the size i thought they were anyways i didn't think that they were i thought when i got them this i said this size i said whoa are they going to be that large but they're not they're just okay so here are the cards here is the back. If you can see, it's mystical. It is mystical. It's very mystical. It's got, um, it's just, I like the blue color. I love that. With some gates. Okay. So, so we got Saint Anthony Reclaim. Interesting. We got Saint Barbara Empowerment. St. Christopher, Soul Journey. Oh, they're sticking together. Wow. The cardstock is a little bit thinner, but I mean, I'm not complaining. I see a lot of reviews out there that they talk about the cardstock being, card being so uh, thin and flimsy. To me, it doesn't really all that matter because, you know, they're going to they're meant to be shuffled and you know like picked and it doesn't really matter and that is saint expedite immediacy saint francis healing saint joan of arc conviction Oh, I love the colors on that. I'm just looking at it on my screen here. It's beautiful. That is nice. St. Joseph, Divine Creation. Beautiful. St. Josephine Bakita. Oh, and that is Release. St. Jude. I'm just going to go really quickly. St. Jude. And that is Saving Grace. 
St. Lucy, Fierce Strength. St. Martha, Authority. Oh, they're just, I love the colors of these. I love the way they put them together, the artist. You know, I didn't even say who the artist was. And who is the artist? Uh, Andrea Gracia is a psychic medium who has developed unique mystical practices that have been influenced by his Spanish-Mexican ancestry of psychic, psychics and brujas. Doesn't say. Doesn't say who the uh, artist is. Okay, Saint Saint Martin Calero, spiritual pilgr pilgrimage. That's beautiful. Saint Mary Malakilop, life lessons. Very realistic. Saint Paul, sacred visions. Saint Murti, ho Holy Death. Hmm. Saint Sebastian. Saint Teresa, Divine Ecstasy. Saint Valentine, Divine Love. Carl Jung collection on conscience oh right he's not a saint i was just thinking i didn't know carl young was a saint he's not confucius wisdom dion fortune ceremony i've read some of her books she's mystical She's not a saint. I don't think so. <laughs> Edgar Casey. Yes, I read lots of Edgar Casey books. Messages. Yes, that is what he is. He's our messenger. He's a famous psychic. Amuel Swendenborg. Spirituality. Florence Scovel Shin. Intuition. I like that. It's very. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Victorian. Yeah, Victorian age. Harry Houdini, mystery. Yeah, I was going to say Houdini was not a, a saint, but he was a mystic. He was a magician. <laughs> he was very interesting. I love, I love uh, his work. Well, when I go to the, well, I used to anyway, it used, there used to be a, uh, the Houdini um, Museum in Niagara Falls. I used to go there all the time, but then it burned down, so there's no more Houdini Museum. So, anyways, it was fun. <laughs> that was years ago. Helena Blaskva, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce her last name, but it says, oh, whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've just, I got my contacts in and it's hard to read. Like I said, I have to put my glasses on to read on top of my contacts that helped me to see far away. Isaac Newton, Discovery. I like that card. I like the moon and I like, I, I really do. Oh yeah, that's, I like that. I like the pyramid. I really do. I like the moon. I like the apple. I like the vine. That's something I would paint. That's a lot like I would paint. That's, it looks like my work. <laughs> uh, King Solomon, Legacy. Oh, that's nice. And then we got Leonardo da Vinci. Now that's making me excited because, you know, I just love Leonardo da Vinci's work. Inspiration. Oh, wow. Now that's, that's amazing. I love that. I really do. And what is it? This is an, looks like there's a, an angel wings in the back. Looks like a, I think that was a kite. I don't know. Anyways, it's beautiful. I'll read up on it. I can't wait to dive into the book. Maria, Marie Levu respect now i do know that there's a museum in new orleans of uh with her work in there and that's all i know about marie Lavu. that's interesting and look at she's got a snake and some a couple of skeletons and you know it's very kind of witchy but i think it's voodoo but she's a mystic as well 
um, Maya Darren Immersion. Yeah, I like these because these are flashcards giving me some history on all the mystics and saints. I really like that. Oh, Miguel de Nostradamus. Ah, premonition. Oh, I resonate with Nostradamus very much so. Yes, a prophet. Yes, interesting. Very, very interesting. I like that. Love Nostradamus. His work. Plato. Plato. Student of the universe. That's beautiful. I like the colors in there. It's just simple. Socrates. <laughs> Now we're going way back. <laughs> and William Blake, creative channel. I'm sorry, but I don't know who he is. <laughs> I have no idea, but I'm gonna read up on it and I wanna learn, I wanna know more. So those are the cards. So how about if we pull up a couple of cards for us? Or maybe just one, let's just see what the cards are telling us. What do we need to know? Okay. Ah, Dion Fortune. We got this card. I've I've read her one of her books. Um, I think it was Psychic Attack um, Protection. This was like years ago. This was like 20, 25 years ago. I read I read that, and it was very interesting. Um, so this is about a ceremony, and if you look at what she has, she has a pyramid, and she has a crystal ball in her hands. So she's she's doing something. She's raising the vibration is what she's doing. She's getting the energy up and the pyramids are all about uh, connecting with source and the sphere is being in your own power, being in your own uh, sphere and also relating to sending the energy out and also drawing it in. Okay, so I'm just going to read what her card is telling us, what the message that she's telling us. Okay. Dion Fortune, the ceremony queen of power and light. Now, wasn't I just talking about that? <laughs> about raising the vibration and at the same time, uh, drawing in the power and drawing it out. Oracle meaning, emotionally, Dion overpowers self-sabotage and suppressed feelings and burdens. Releasing emotional anchors rooted deeply within the heart. She urges you to work with your emotions and not let them consume you when the intensity rises. Spiritually, Dion heightens psychic abilities and advances metaphysical development. She teaches us to harness and tap into one's own personal energetic force at will, enabling power to become self-sufficient physically and spiritual psycho sorry psychically and spiritually she is an, an exceptional teacher in psychic self-defense and can appear in dreams channeling her essence to share secrets and mysteries from beyond the veil consciously it says she enables awareness of higher levels of spiritual realities and can help process complex information and quick thinking Dion aids in overcoming insomnia, the cosmic to the mind, nudges guidance to writing, teaching, and creating a new lineage of ancestral magic in your life. That's cool. Magic is in the art of changing consciousness at will. Okay, so what she's telling us is for you, and plus for, for all of us, um, since I read her book, Psychic Self-Defense, that was the name of it. And um, at the time, um, I thought somebody put a spell on me. Okay, so I'm just giving you a little uh, background. I thought somebody put a spell on me because something was going on in my life and it was taking over um, a control over me. And I thought, hey, somebody put a spell on me. It was actually Psychic Self-Defense. It's like when you give somebody that power um, about... When you give somebody a power that they have put a spell on you, you automatically put a spell on yourself. So it's actually self-sabotaging yourself. So you gotta gain your own power. You gotta rise up. You gotta elevate your energy. So this is what it's telling you. Don't give anybody your power. You need to assert yourself and be very 
um, honest. You gotta just not allow people to take away your light inside. Um, there's a really good book that I'd like you to take a look at. It's called Dodging the Vampires by Christian Northorpe. I'm gonna get the book and I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, this is the book. Dodging energy vampires. I talk about this all the time. We sometimes we allow people to take us and allow them to take our energy. I should say not take us, but take our energy. It says here an empath's guide to invading relationships that drain you and restoring your health and power. So nobody can take that away from you. So just like what the card is saying to you too, own your own power, raise your vibration, and if you need more assistance on um, energy vampires I highly recommend you get this book and you can also download it too like you can get the audio download as well from it's a really good book I, I highly advise it and so there you have it those are the Saints and Mystics Oracle card hope you enjoyed it and uh, hope you enjoyed the message as well if you have any more questions and would like to learn more about getting a personalized reading visit my website psychicsoulmatereading.com and please subscribe to my YouTube channel I always post in information and um, uh, lots of videos on tips and tutorials and lots of fun stuff and until next video I wish you the best peace and blessings namaste